hot seat match between Justin Bergman and Devin Petit. Uh, this is a uh, winner's side match, so it's a race to 11. Uh, we got Alex Olinger playing Jonathan Pinniger. like uh, Gabe Owen is sitting in the wings uh, waiting to play the winner of Alex and John. I would say Justin's going to finish this up here and get out and make it a 1-1 score. Well, we're back up to uh, 200 viewers. It's about 10 till midnight. Uh, glad to see some of you guys are still up uh, watching with us. <coughs> uh, yeah, Brad, I can give some more volume. Uh, I would say this is going to be a pretty good match. Uh, these guys are playing good. Justin's been sitting for a little, or uh, not played in the tournament for a little while, but he's been in the back in a small money game. So he has been hitting some balls. He knows, uh, Vincent, I'm not sure what the shaft is. Justin's playing with a low max Q. Uh, very well could be a purple heart shaft. Russ, uh, they're going to race the nine back air. I'm hoping uh, the match gets done pretty close because the next stream match will be the winner of Alex and Jonathan versus Gabe Owen.
Lakewood Shaft. Thanks, Paul. Justin looks like he's feeling pretty confident. He's shooting pretty quick. Uh, Justin don't notoriously play real fast, but he's playing quick here and he's uh, he's playing well. Two to one, erase the 11. Uh, this is a winter break format, rack your own. <clears throat> this is the hot seat match. know if Justin can see the one ball or not. Um, he just got to cut it real thin to make it, so uh, if he can see it, he's going to shoot at it. Well, Brad, I think there's a, it's a good match between Henny and Olinger. Uh, I mean, definitely Henny uh, performed very well uh, at the, the latter part of the last match, and Alex has played really good all day. We'll try to get some scores from that match and keep you guys posted as we move along.
Well, Devin gets a pretty good row off his last shot and uh, forces Justin to kick. And uh, he gets a rewarder with the ball in hand, but not a whole lot to do here, I don't believe. I can't see how close the four ball is to the rail. Uh, Justin gets a good hit out of that, and uh, I don't leave much for Devin. Uh, Paul, this isn't on YouTube. It's uh, it's live on uh, it's on Facebook, the On Cue Billiards. Fantastic shot there by Justin. He's got uh, Devin tucked up against the eight ball here. Just, I, mean, I mean, it's got to be a two rail hit, it looks like to me. Well, I guess he ain't tucked up as much as I thought. He can kick one rail at it. Uh, you're welcome, CJ. We appreciate you uh, tuned in and uh, watching with us. Yeah, Paul, we, uh, we later upload the matches to, uh, to YouTube normally for later viewing. Well, Justin's got no choice but to play a four and nine combination here. Well, I guess uh, I called that wrong. Justin uh, fires the bank in. <laughs> I mean, he made it look <laughs> straight in and Justin seems to be in gear. Hey guys, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with us and watching some pool. We're glad we have the opportunity to, uh, to be able to give it to you guys. Remember, don't forget to uh, share the link for us on the bottom of your page. And let's keep our audience up. Uh, I know it's getting late. And well, Nate, I definitely couldn't do no worse than what we had this year commentating for Moscone Cup. And that's, uh, I think most people would agree with that.
Well, Linda, we appreciate the, uh, the compliment. Um, we've uh, we started out pretty small with uh, with our company. At we we added the OnCue Broadcasting Network uh, later to the OnCue family, and we've uh, we put every bit of the money that we have raised from it back into the business and uh, with new cameras and so forth and we continue to do that to improve the quality of our stream Well, Justin got a little bit of the wrong side of the four ball here, I guess, to, to get on to six. I don't think the six passes by the seven. It may. If it does, it's real tight. Um, I mean, he can certainly get enough right English to spin down for the six on this end of side, but I think he, it looks like he's just playing up to play the six, seven. Uh, Christian, we do have the ability to zoom in, but unfortunately, uh, with the uh, the arena that we're streaming in here, the lighting's a little funny. So, um, any kind of uh, zooming in, it really changes the the, the pixels and it changes the uh, the stream itself. We get a little bit of chasing going on behind the balls. And Anthony, this is the hot seat match between Justin Bergman and Devin Petit, and so far it's been all Justin Bergman, uh, four to one in a race to 11. Uh, we do have uh, Hennessy playing Olinger on the back table. And I think I'm gonna step back and see if I can get a score update, and I'll come back in a moment, see if I can update you guys on that. Well, we got an update on the uh, Jonathan uh, Penninger, Alex Olinger. It's currently two to zero, Jonathan, and it's four to one here. So we're uh, we're at a three-game swing. Uh, you know, and that's the next match on the stream table. Uh, the winner of Jonathan's uh, match. Uh, so I'm hoping we finish in somewhat relative close time, so we ain't got too much lag time in between. Well, Earl Strickland, uh, he'll jump with the full table with a Mucci. Uh, Christian, this uh, is in uh, southern Illinois in a small town called Benton. Uh, it's right off of Interstate 57, real close to uh, Carbondale, Illinois, home of SIU. They uh, typically have a 32-man monthly tournament here every month, and they decided to have uh, a Pro-Am tournament this month. It's open to anybody in Capital 16 with a large entry fee, and it went well. Beautiful break by Devin there.
Well, Devin gets rewarded for his good break, probably. I don't think he wanted to run into that seven. He planned to shoot into the side, but he ran into it, and he came out okay with it. Uh, looks like the eight ball can go on the side or either corner. And he's going to opt for the corner. Get the cue ball out a little better for the nine ball from here. Well, Christian, we appreciate it, and uh, we're glad to have you. Yeah, yeah, real close to the Joe Johnson City of Tournament, just a few miles, as a matter of fact, uh, where the World Tournaments were held at. And we got a four to three match. Uh, Devin comes with a break and run. I figure this is gonna be a, a good match, probably a quick match which uh, is good and bad, but it's pool and it's a good pool. You know, Todd, I'm the same way. I shot, I've shot with the McDermott for 15, 16 years, but I did switch everything to Predator about a year and a half ago, um, and I got a nice Predator 5K um, with a Z shaft and a 314 uh, twos. And I just, I never felt comfortable with the Predators. I did my McDermott, so my McDermott's sitting in the corner now, and I'm back with, or Predators in the corner, and I'm back with my McDermott. There's Sandra, glad to see you're still with us, Sandra. Justin, one of the better kickers out there, and he uh, he did kick and got a hit, but he did leave uh, Devin a pretty easy shot here. Two balls right in front of the side. Oh, but I think he got a five ball jump back in front of him. I've never used the eye shaft myself. Uh, don't have an opinion on it. Uh, I mean, I I shoot with 11 millimeter shaft, so I uh, I shoot with a small shaft. I don't think the uh, you could get the eye shaft down that far. Maybe you can. Yeah, the low deflection I think is what bothered me. You know, when I shoot with 11 millimeter shaft, um, with my that ferro on there is about an inch and a quarter. Uh, you absolutely have. Uh, deflection and when you've been used to that for 15 16 years it's hard to switch to something else Devin ran into the five, and uh, I got a shot on it. We got a it's like it's shaping up to be a, a nice match here. Devin might have gotten in trouble with that one, though. Mm -hmm. Justin, you heard your mom. You know, I love that Predator. I really do. I just, I just can't get used to it. I gave it a year and a half, and I, I couldn't get used to the low deflection shaft. And I mean, it's, a, it's an elite limited 5K. It's a nice stick, but uh, I don't know. I just, I just never did get used to it. And a pretty good shot there by uh, Devin. Uh, he, I mean, he got a hit anyway, and uh, 
left Bergman with a bank opportunity or a safe opportunity, whichever he chooses. Yeah, you know, I, I, I just, I was goofing around one day, Nate, uh, a month or so ago, and put my McDermott back in my hand, and uh, it kind of felt like some things I was missing came back to me, so uh, I uh, put the Predator in the case, and when I got home, it it went in the corner. Nice shot by Justin there with the bank shot. He, uh, he shot it with confidence. He played the lead. But if he missed, he knew he lost. And, uh, puts Justin up five to three. Yeah, you know, Joe, uh, I play pretty good, but uh, center ball has always been kind of a weakness of mine. Uh, um, I don't know. I've just always been comfortable with uh, with throw and hold, and uh, I've had a lot of trouble with Justin. A couple years ago, I, I really worked on center ball, and uh, and I, imp I improved my center ball game a lot, but uh, still not where I feel like it needs to be. Uh, yes, Terry Winchester, this is live out of Benton, Illinois. Uh, stream is brought to you by On Cue Billiards out of Evansville, Indiana. Andrew, I've, I've thought about selling it. Uh, you know, I just, I don't know. And I don't, I don't know why I switched it up. I mean, I broke with the BK and I... I I sold my BK, uh, I had original BK and I sold it to my buddy Nate McGahey. I bought me a BK3 and I bought the uh, Predator Air 2. So I felt like I needed a Predator shooting stick for some reason and uh, now I've, uh, I've been talking myself out of it. Uh, hey, Terry, we appreciate it. Uh, we've been going at it all day. Uh, you know, we're able to give a uh, live stream at some high-level pool at no cost, and uh, yeah, we're glad we're able to do that. Yeah, Shane, it's the same cue. Uh, it is a great cue. I just, I'm struggling for the load reflections, I think, what it is. Uh, Carol, you're plenty welcome. Uh, thank you for tuning in with us and watching. Uh, Justin Bergman uh, on the verge here, going up 6-3 to three against Devin Petit in the hot seat match, race 11. I'm going I'm to step away from the mic for a second and get an update on uh, Alex and Jonathan's score. Uh, so we got an update on uh, Alex Olinger and uh, Jonathan Penninger, a score of two to two. Uh, that is a race to nine. Uh, 
this particular match here is a race to 11. Uh, of course, the only match we have to play uh, after this one is, is that match since we're down to so few. Uh, it looks like the timing is offset right now a bit. I'm uh, hoping it closes the gap here soon. Uh, Jamie Krauts, uh, we got this match in front of you for the hot seat. Uh, Justin or uh, Alex Olinger is playing Jonathan Pinniger, and then Gabe Owens is waiting on the winner of that.
Well, Cody, it was the sound of a Coke being cracked, but it was a it was a can opening up. Ah, sorry guys, I was just muting my microphone. <laughs> well, we got a score of 8-3 to three on the front table, and we got a score of... Looks like... 4-2 to two on the back table. Slow your roll, Mike. Hey, you're welcome, Troy. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us. Uh, if he was trying to make that ball I guess he was it just didn't mean to draw back that far and get behind that nine ball uh, Corey we got a payout of uh, four thousand twenty three hundred and sixteen hundred Uh, Chris, uh, Jonathan was up four to two.
Uh, Cody, uh, this is in Benton, Illinois, uh, the southern portion of Illinois off Interstate 57. Uh, the entry was 200. Nice shot there by Devin. Uh, turned out real good. Uh, good angle into six to get up to the seven. Uh, no reason uh, this game shouldn't be over. Yeah, Bobby, I agree. There was some pretty funny stuff being said there. score eight to four Devin has cut the deficit to uh, four games Breaks them out, but no, uh, can't see the one ball. <coughs> uh, Devin's going for his jump cue and. I don't think I've seen Devin jump much tonight. He uh, he certainly can jump. I just ain't seen him do it much today. Of course, got to get this ball up and down pretty quick. Yeah, that was a that was a tough shot. You know, Terry breaking your own rack, uh, a lot of uh, tournaments have went to that. It just avoids uh, arguments and people saying you racked them. And you got no one to blame but yourself if you get a bad rack now. Justin sizing up the two ball to see where he wants to put it at.
like Justin's making uh, pretty quick work of uh, the miscue on the jump shot from Devin. Justin don't quite like his angle because he didn't want to get into that nine ball, but it, it looks like he, he may nudge off of it now. Uh, I still think he'll be okay if he does nudge off of it. But he might be able to throw that enough without touching the nine ball. Looks like he can. Yeah. And Devin concedes that rack, uh, putting Justin a 9-4 uh, leader. 